Welcome to the Skinna Beat. It is the 30th of May 2013, and I am your host Skeena, and we are coming at you live on bvocal.com. We've got a great show for you today with This Day in History, Weird Fact of the Day, Emails and Tweets. And if you are joining us live on Be Vocal, there will be a chance to have your questions answered as well. But first, I would like to thank all those who visited our blog yesterday. We again broke our most traffic in a single day record, so thanks to all of you for your support. Now it's time for This Day in History. On this day in 1431, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake at the age of 19. On this day in 1971, the Mariner 9 space probe blasted off on its journey to Mars. On this day in 1848, W.G. Young patented the ice cream freezer. On this day in 1922, the Lincoln Memorial was dedicated in Washington, D.C. And finally, on this day in 1913, the First Balkan War ended. And that's it for This Day in History. Coming up next, Weird Fact of the Day. Did you know that Canada has more lakes than all other countries put together? Well, it's a fact. Canada has over 3 million lakes, making Canada home to 60% of the world's lakes. If you were to combine all other lakes in the world, you would see that 40% of all other lakes reside outside of Canada. And that is our weird fact of the day. Now it's time for emails and tweets. Our first tweet is from Jennifer in Edmonton, or email I should say. And Jennifer writes, My friend is always criticizing me. She is also very competitive. It seems she can always find something about me to criticize. What should I do? Well Jennifer, if your friend is always criticizing you, she can't be a very good friend. What you need to decide is what kind of a friend do you want. Someone who is supportive or someone who is always putting you down. My advice is to tell her your friendship is over and move on. Find friends that lift you up rather than put you down. So good luck to you, Jennifer. And we have a tweet here now from John in Atlanta. And John writes, I always seem to put things off until the last moment. How can I stop doing this? Well, John, what you need to do is start doing things earlier. You see, procrastination, if I can pronounce it correctly, is a habit. And you need to break the habit. You see, John, you need to take action. You need to take action by taking action before action is needed, if you can understand 
and understand that. So, good luck to you, John. And we have a tweet from Bushra in Lahore, Pakistan. And I apologize uh, in advance. I know I'm probably uh, pronouncing these names wrong. Uh, I am not an expert on pronunciation of names, so you'll have to just bear with me. Anyways, the question is, what advice do you have for someone who wants to go back to school? Well, my advice is do it. Do whatever you have to do to accomplish your dream. It will be worth it in the long run. Uh, higher education is something uh, that you should never say no to. If you have the chance to go back to school, go back. Your life will be better for it. So, uh, good luck to you, and I hope this uh, helps you. And we have a tweet from Davinder in Delhi, which is in India, of course. And Davinder uh, writes, I want to do some traveling. Can you recommend anywhere? Well, Davinder, from my own experience and preference, I would recommend French Polynesia. It's a beautiful place to visit, and I'm sure you would enjoy it. I found it spectacular, so I would recommend French Polynesia. So thanks for your tweet, and good luck to you. And our last uh, tweet here is from Mike in LA. And Mike writes, Hey Skeena, why don't men understand women? Okay Mike, this is very easy. Men don't understand women because women don't want men to understand them. It's true. On some subconscious sadistic level, men love the look of bewilderment and frustration in, in a man's eyes. They do. Uh, they might deny it, but they do. Sorry ladies, but uh, gotta speak the truth here. So Mike, my, my advice is just to accept the fact that you're never gonna understand women and you'll be better off for it. Um, you can accept them the way they are and um, just face the fact that you're never going to understand them. So, good luck to you, Mike. And that's it for emails and tweets today. I want to thank all those who wrote in. If you are listening to our podcast and would like to write to us as well, you can by sending us an email to theskinabeat at gmail.com or sending us a tweet. We're on Twitter at theskinabeat. Also a reminder that all emails and tweets will be posted on our blog, skeenabeat.blogspot.com, with abbreviated forms of my answers. Now is the time for some live Q&A. However, looking at our screens, it is not to be today. So, remember that the time of our live broadcasts, when they happen on Be Vocal, are posted on our blog, theskinabeat.blogspot.com, and remember to spread the word about us to your friends, your family. Our podcasts are available on iTunes, Spreaker, Buzzsprout, Be Vocal, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Plus, you can stream or download our podcast directly from our blog, theskinabeat.blogspot.com. So, we are out there. You've obviously found us if you're listening to us. Spread the word. Well, that's it for the Skeena Beat today. This is your host, Skeena. Uh, wanting to give out a big thank you to all those who came out to view our blog, especially those in India, Cambodia, Egypt, and Pakistan. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>